Hi students, let's continue with the Chomsky normal form. In the previous video, I explained what is a Chomsky normal form and what are the steps that you need to uh, consider while to convert the context-free grammar into Chomsky normal form. So now apply those steps in this example. So here they are given an example like convert the given grammar that is a context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form. So this is the grammar they are given. We have to convert this context-free grammar to CNF. So first of all, see whether this grammar is in CNF or not. They are saying, okay, okay, even though they are saying, let's see, uh, let's observe that grammar, whether it is in CNF or not. What are the rules for CNF? Either the start symbol should generate an epsilon, okay, and uh, any non-terminal uh, will have the, it's generating two non-terminals, only two non-terminals. Single non-terminal is generating two non-terminals, not more than two. And a terminal, non-terminal is generating a terminal. So, these are the rules for Chomsky normal form. So, let's see, is this production is following these rules or not? So, here the first production is following the rule and the second is not following the rule. If it is not following the rule means we have to decompose that. And this is also not following. Here the 3 is there and it is also not following. A determines epsilon, it is following the rule. And this is also not following the rule. And B determines B is following the rule. Means some productions are not following the Chomsky normal form. We need to get all the productions had to follow any one of the Chomsky normal form rule. Now let's convert it. We will create a new production. So what is the first step for converting? The first thing is you have to take a new start symbol. You have to replace a new production. So for that you have to create S1 determines S. So S is equal to S determines A, A, B and A determines A, B, B epsilon and B determines A, A, B. So first step is I am just adding a new production. That is a new production. Okay. Now coming to the second step. So, what is the second step? The second step is, uh, as grammar G1 contains A determines epsilon, okay, that is a null production, we have to remove it, okay. If any null productions are there, that is in, uh, if it is, uh, the start symbol has to contain the null productions, but here the grammar itself is contains the null productions. So, only the start symbol has to contain null production according to our rule, but, uh, so, it contains a null production. So, if any null productions, if any unit productions or if any useless productions are there, try to remove that, that uh, to generate the Chomsky normal form according to our uh, rules, okay. So, we have to remove epsilon. We have to remove epsilon. So, that is S1 determines I am replacing it, S1 determines A, S determines A, 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 B. Now coming to A determines A, B, B, I am removing the epsilon. So whenever the A is present in that A place, I need to write a new production, okay. So A determines A, B, B, I just remove the epsilon and in the, in the place of B, the, the B contains A, A, B, okay, if I place epsilon here, Okay, in the place of A, if I play, place epsilon, I will get a single variable A. Here also and here also, if I replace A with epsilon, I will get a single variable uh, terminal A. So, you have to write the terminal also. So, I, th this is the way you have to remove the null production. Whenever the A determines epsilon is there, so replace A with epsilon. Replace A with epsilon and write that production, write that terminal. If it is a terminal or non-terminal, whatever it may be, that terminal has to be added to this production. So, this is how you have to replace that. So, add A in the B production. Okay. Now, still check. This G1 contains a unit production is there. So, to make a grammar Chomsky normal form, we have to uh, simplify the context-free grammar. I already said you have to simplify the context-free grammar. If you want to simplify context-free grammar, what are the steps you have to follow? Remove null production, remove unit production and remove 
यूजलेस प्रोडक्शन और एलिमिनेट यूजलेस प्रोडक्शन सो दिस आई ऑलरेडी डन ओके आई रिमूव द नल प्रोडक्शन नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू आई नीड टू चेक स्टिल एनी थिंग इज यूजलेस इज देर सो हियर द यूनिट प्रोडक्शन इज देर मीन्स एज डिटर्माइंस एज मीन्स वन टर्मिनल इज डिटर्माइन वन नॉन टर्मिनल इज डिटर्माइनिंग अनदर नॉन टर्मिनल सो विच इज अ यूनिट प्रोडक्शन आई वॉन्ट टू एलिमिनेट दिस यूनिट प्रोडक्शन ओके नाउ लेट्स एलिमिनेट द यूनिट प्रोडक्शन सो हियर वी हैव टू रिप्लेस एस with b so to eliminate unit production don't be confused we are following when the step by step procedure first i am trying to convert the given grammar into chomsky normal form by following these rules if there is anything uh, simplification is needed in the context free grammar first try to simplify that and then uh, apply the rules so to eliminate uh, unit production so replace replace so s determines b this is also unit production so here not an s1 s determines b is also s determines b also unit production so replace b with b production rule so whatever the b production rules are there that should be replaced here production rule so now let me write so in place of s yes, i am replacing with s production s1 determine so what is the s here i am replacing with s production so don't confuse let's see i am just replacing the unit productions unit production so in place of s yes, i am writing the s productions and s is as usual okay and here in place of b s1 determines b so i have to replace this b also with the, uh, b productions because i am eliminating the unit production s determines b is a unit production so in place of b also i want to replace the b production so what are the b productions a a b a okay so a a a a b a so a is already there so i know i am not writing here in place of b i am writing a a b so s is now a contains a b b and b contains a a b a so now that null productions are over and i eliminated the unit productions also is there any useless production i think i don't think so is no useless productions are there okay now let's see the third step now the so the production rule whatever we are get now here is this also remove the unit productions and we get a new productions now in the production rule there is a step 3 i am taking step 3 in the production rule s1 that is a s node i am taking a a a a i am just taking some productions in that which are violating the uh, chomsky normal form a a a and a determines a b b and uh, b determines a so these are the some productions which are not in chomsky normal form s1 determines a which is in cnf and s1 determines b is also in cnf only these two are not in cnf and again this is also not in cnf and this is also not in cnf b determines b is in cnf and b determines a is in cnf okay only these four productions are not in cnf so that's why i have written like this only these not uh, these are not in cnf here the terminal a exist on the right hand side which is uh, followed with a non terminal so we will replace terminal a with x so let me take a new variable x so i have taken and i just want to replace uh, with x wherever the a is present okay so now the productions are s not a in place of a i am writing x a in place of terminal a i am writing ax and the b so already ab or the productions are there in s not in s s also a x a ax b and in place of a in place of non terminal a i am writing capital x x b b and in place of b ax b a is all the b a is already there in the production okay so again x determines so these are the new productions 
okay i just replace a terminal with a non terminal i just assuming here so whenever wherever the a single uh, a terminal followed with a non terminal in that place i replaced with the x so in the production rule a determ so this is in no cnf this is also in cnf because one non terminal is generating two non terminals right okay that is also cn this is also cnf this is also cnf so these two productions are in cnf but coming to here this is not in cnf because it is generating three non terminals which violating the chomsky normal form so this is also in cnf and this is also cnf now consider this thing okay so in the production rule a determines xbb in the rhs has more than two symbols so we have to remove it how you are going to remove it simply you have to decompose it i already said in the steps we have to decompose that so s not a x a a x b and s is a x a a x b and a determines actually a determines x b b this is our production okay i am just decomposing it a determines r b okay so in place of x b i i return r that means r is replaced with x b so i just decomposed this production into two productions so that it is in cnf our aim is to make the production into cnf okay so these two yields a determines x b b only so in place of r if you substitute x b you will get this okay instead of writing this i am writing like this so that it is in cnf okay that is one non terminal is generating two non terminals it should be only in two not more than two and uh, as usual b is a x b a and x determines a therefore the given grammar is in cnf in chomsky normal form because each non terminal is generating only a terminal or two non terminals that is a terminal or two non terminals terminal no two non terminals in every whatever the production you have taken it's following the chomsky normal form rules this is the how you have to convert it a little bit confusion but if you follow the step by step procedure then it will be very easy for you to uh, to convert it the thing is whatever the grammar that is given first try to uh, simplify the context free grammar is there any null productions is there any unit productions is there any uh, useless productions so try to remove that productions after that convert into chomsky normal form conversion is very easy because you just decompose the uh, the production whatever the production that is there you just decompose that production by replacing with a new non terminals i hope you understand if you are having any doubts still comment it thank you